Number 33, a plane diving with constant speed at an angle of 53 degrees with the vertical releases a projectile at an altitude of 730 meters. The projectile hits the ground 5 seconds after release. Letter A, what is the speed of the plane? Letter B, how far does the projectile travel horizontally during its flight? What are the letter C, horizontal, and letter D, vertical components of its velocity just before striking the ground? So one of the crucial things that you have to notice before starting solving this problem over here is that the initial speed of the plane is, in, is exactly the same as the initial speed of the projectile. So for example, let's say this is the initial speed of the plane, let's call it V. So that's the same speed as the initial speed of the projectile. And this angle over here, which is 53 degrees, is the same as well. So the initial speed and direction, it's the same for the projectile and the plane. So that's one of the first things that you have to notice. However, instead of using this angle over here, because usually we don't use the, the angle with the vertical, but you could in principle, that's not a problem. Let's just use this angle here with the horizontal, which is easier because that's what we usually do. So this angle over here is minus 37 degrees because it, it is clockwise, so that's why it, it, it is negative, and those values should add up to 90 degrees. Okay, so that's the initial information that we have, and in this problem, this is a problem of constant acceleration, because we only have the acceleration of gravity, which points downwards. So there are three different equations that we can use when the acceleration is constant. There are x equals to x o plus v o t plus a t squared over 2. We can also use v equals to v o plus a t. And we can use v squared equals to v o squared plus 2 times a delta x. So those are, are the three equations that, the, that we can use when the acceleration is constant. However, those three equations work for one dimension only, and we have two different dimensions here. We have x direction and y direction. So we have to add a few things in those equations. For example, this is Vox, this is Ax, and this is Vx, Vox, Vx, Vox. So now these three equations work for the x direction, and we have another three equations for the y direction. So let's rewrite for the y direction, plus v o y t plus a y t squared over 2. We can also use v y equals to v o y plus a y t and v y squared equals to v o y squared plus 2 times a y delta y. So those are the three equations, those the six, uh, six equations that we can use. Now that you have six different equations, you're probably thinking, okay, I got no idea which one I'm going to use. And that's when the trick here comes, which is just circle the things that you don't know. That's the trick that I always tell my students. Just circle the things that you don't know. However, first you have to choose some information. For example, let's say this is the origin of our coordinate system. So it's zero, zero. So this height over here is 730 and the projectile does something like this and falls on the ground i'm not sure where let's call it just x okay so let's see what we have here uh, the final position we don't know the initial position in the x direction we do know because so we have to circle because we don't know the initial position in the x direction we know it's zero the initial speed we don't know, although we know how to find Vox, for example, we can decompose the initial speed into one x component, Vox, and Voy. So we can write Vox equals to V times the cosine of the angle, and Voy equals to V times the sine of the angle. We don't know the value of V, we know the value of theta but we don't know the value of v so let's circle this as well t we know the value of this five seconds the acceleration in the x direction it's zero because we don't have acceleration in the horizontal direction on planet earth so this goes away it's zero 
zero and zero okay and we don't know the final speed and the initial speed as we just circled before as for the y direction we know the final the initial position the speed in the y direction is the same thing as here we don't know the value of v we know the value of t we know the acceleration of gravity which is minus 9.8 meters per square second and we know the value of t so the initial speed we don't know the initial the final speed we don't know the initial we don't know as well and we don't know if we know the acceleration and t so this one we don't know we don't know we know and we do know okay so as you can see here for letter a we we need the speed of the plane so have to you have to ask yourself which equ equation will give me the speed of the plane so the trick here you just see what you have circled so for example this equation over here the only thing you think there is circle is the speed in the y direction so you could use it just to find v o y so that's what we're going to do so let's use this equation over here y equals to y o plus let's write v o y as this one v times the sine of the angle times t plus a y t is squared over 2 so we have to isolate v so we can find it so let's send this to the other side this to the other side as well so y is 0 right this, this value is 0 the final position in the y direction is 0 so we have minus y o minus a y t is squared over 2 equals to v times the sine of the angle times t so v is just equal to minus y o minus a y t squared over 2 times 1 over sine of the angle times t so let's just replace the letter by the numbers so minus 730 minus minus 9.8 times 5 squared over 2 times 1 over sine of minus 37 times t which is 5 and this should give us should gives us 200 into meters per second so that's the answer of letter a so let's move for letter b letter b says how far does the projectile travel horizontally during its flight so we want to find the value of x here and now we know the value of v o x because we just found the value of v so x is equal to v times the cosine of the angle times t and that's it right so we just have to replace the letter by the numbers so this gives us 202 times the cosine of minus 37 times 5 and this gives us 806 meters so that's the answer of letter b letter c what are the horizontal and vertical components of its velocity just before hitting the ground okay so we want to find vx and vy so now it's pretty easy so let's calculate vx first so vx is equal to vox and we know that vox is equal to v times the cosine of the angle so it is equal to 202 times the cosine of minus 37 which gives us 161 meters per second letter d the vertical component so vy vy is equal to v oy plus a y t so v o y is equal to v times the sine of the angle plus the acceleration of gravity which is minus minus 9.8 times t which is 5 so v y is equal to 202 times the sine of minus 37 minus 9.8 times 5 
and this gives us minus 171 meters per second just note that this, that this value is negative because it points downwards and downwards it's negative as well so that's it